Miss Caitlin. Miss Dana. Where is your cape? I didn't bring mine today. Where is your cape? I didn't bring mine either. Why don't you have your cape? I didn't feel very super today. Yeah, I hear you. I didn't feel very super today either. Yeah. And and I've heard from a lot of other people that they don't feel so super either. I know. I hear a lot of people are hurting in today's world right now. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are confused. And a lot of people hmm? not understanding. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I got some messages this morning from some super kids already, and I got some awesome videos from super kids and I really wanted to share them today. Um, but it didn't, it didn't feel right. Yeah. I hear you. It felt like today was maybe not the best day to celebrate. Yeah. And, and I know we have a lot of planners. Mm -hmm. I know we have, a, I see some of our super kids already joining and I see them asking why, why are, why don't we have on our capes and why are things feeling different? And, um, and so many people were asking, you know, are you going to have super kids Saturday? So for our planners that might be a little nervous, that might be feeling a little afraid, right? That might be wondering, but I depend on you every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central to be here for me and to speak to me. For the, our planning Super Kids, what would you say to them if they're worried that Super Kids Saturday has changed? I would say today we are taking a step back and we're simply pausing. And mm -hmm. next week we are going to come back and we are going to talk about, about our bodies and about sensory and about why our bodies do what they do. So yeah. we are coming back to our fun and silly and kind of uh, high energy yeah. for Saturday. But sometimes even grownups have days where they're not feeling so super and they're not feeling so super energetic and super silly and super fun. Yeah. Yeah. And so we will be back for Super Kids Saturday next Saturday at 10 a.m. and every Saturday after that. But we realized that there's so many conversations going on in the world. There's some going on about COVID and the world opening back up. And what are we supposed to do? And is it safe to go out? And, and then there's other conversations and whether you know about them or your parents are telling you about them. You probably can feel that something's changed over the last week and something's different over the last week. And a lot of our parents said, please don't say anything to my super kid. My kid doesn't know that anything's going on in the world. And Miss Caitlin, I don't know about you, but my kids, they knew. My kids knew. They could feel it. They could feel the energy was different. They could feel that something was going on, that, that the world was hurting a little bit. Yeah, and we don't we don't really watch the news around here, but they knew. Mm -hmm. They knew. Yeah, and and yeah, this is totally meant. Kids can watch this. Parents can watch this. It's just about a, a change in in we're taking a pause. And so the thing is, is um. We don't know how to talk about the change. Mm -hmm. We are owning up to the fact that we don't know how to talk about all the things that are going on. Yep. And we recognize that. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, hey, we'll come and we'll talk to the super kids and we'll have a fun activity and we'll talk about all the things that are going on in a fun and really great way. And then we realized we don't know how yet. Mm -hmm. Super kids, do you ever feel stuck sometimes? You know, even grown ups sometimes feel stuck. Yeah. What their next step should be. And Miss yeah. Caitlin and Miss Caitlin today are feeling a little bit stuck in what our next step is going to be. Yeah. And today, remember pause. And when we hit pause, kind of like on a DVD, like when you're watching a movie and you hit pause, mm -hmm. you take a break, 
and you run and you go potty or you run and go do something or you run and eat lunch and you come back to your movie and then you hit play. And so today we're simply hitting pause Yeah. and we're going to take a break and then next week we will hit that play button. Yeah. And you know what? I was thinking about what we believe here at, Su- at Super Kid Saturday and how we are champions for super kids. And we love to be and help grownups be the sidekicks for super kids. And if you're just joining today, you might be saying, well, what is a super kid? And can you kind of share, Miss Caitlin, what is a super kid? A super kid is someone who is unheard, who is misunderstood, who struggles to communicate their needs in a way that others will listen. There are a lot of people out there right now who are feeling unheard and misunderstood and struggling to communicate in a way that others will listen. Yeah. And it's so tempting, Miss Caitlin, to jump to the solution, to solve this problem, to give an answer. But we have a way of doing things here at Super Kids and at Calm the Chaos. And the first step is that before we solve any problem at all, we have to stop. We have to stop. And then we have to pull out our thought monsters and we have to think what belief or thought is getting in the way of us learning and of seeing a different perspective. And so that's the first step we always have to do when we're stuck. We don't want to jump to the solution and the solving and the plan. And then what do we do after that? What do we have to do next? After we have to swap our thought. Right. So after we've swapped our thoughts and our beliefs and we've focused on our beliefs, we then we have to connect with the other person, the person that's frustrated, the person that's hurting, the person that's trying to be heard. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's us, but sometimes that's our grownups. And we both have different sides and different perspectives, and neither one is right or wrong right now. It's more about figuring out where they're coming from and connecting with the person that's hurt. Right. And then what is the next step, Miss Caitlin? And then after we connect, together we come together to solve our problem and to make a plan together. But we have to first figure out where the pain comes from. Yeah. So I'm going to repeat those th- those steps. First, we have to evaluate our own thoughts and beliefs and be open to something new. Second, we have to connect with the other person in pain or that's frustrated. Three, we have to figure out where the struggle, frustration, or pain is coming from and truly just listen just listen. Then we can come together and we can solve a problem. And so because of that, we've decided here at Super Kids Saturday, we are stopping. We are evaluating our own beliefs, our own thoughts. We are connecting with you, with others, with parents, with, with grown-ups, with super kids, with, with everyone that we possibly can to understand where the different perspectives and pain is coming from. Then together, we can come together with a plan. Because the truth is, is none of this is changing tomorrow or the next day or the next day. This is now a part of Super Kids. We always have championed people who are misunderstood, kids who are misunderstood, misheard, unseen. This is no different. And so it may be a month or two months before we find our answer and change the way we're doing things, but we're going to spend the rest of our Super Kids Saturday going and learning. And we've put something together for you and your grownups. So, Ms. Caitlin, can you tell us about what we've put together? Yes. So we put together a list of resources to give to your mommies and daddies and your grownups, maybe your grandmas and grandpas. And in this, um, your grownups can look at it first. Now, some of the resources are for your grownups, kind of like train your grownup, train your adult. But some of the resources are for you, the mm-hmm. super kids. And when you look at these resources, grownups, you get to decide, is this something I'm going to keep as a resource for myself? 
is this a certain resource that I'm going to share with my kids? And that answer might be different for each and every family. And that is okay. Yeah. And I've put the link in the comments. It looks like it may not be working. So I'll make sure I put it in the top as well. But the resource is just a Google document, no ads attached to it, no ulterior motives. It's just a link of resources of where we've been listening and learning over the last week and where we will continue to listen and learn as we go forward. And as we've stated, this is a document for grownups, for mm -hmm. parents. So make sure that if you want to learn more about other people that are unheard, other people who are struggling for their voice to be heard, you tell your grownups, hey, Miss Caitlin, Miss Dana, they shared a resource. Can you look at it and see what books I could read, what videos I could watch? I know my kids, we're going through these as well. Many of you guys are doing the, um, or have checked the link and it's working. Wonderful, Shonda. And I see that people are in the document. So that lets me know that it is working. Um, I can see people in there. And so this is a resource for parents to read on how to explain what's going on, how to explain race, how to talk about the different things that are happening right now, how to talk about how we are different and how to talk about, um, you know, there's different websites you can watch. There's different uh, videos. There's different books for kids that you can read, different list of books that you can add to your library. And we just hope that you'll take the time, just like we are, to stop to listen, and to learn. Miss Caitlin, is there anything final you want to say to our super kids? I want to remind you that just like when we huddle, sometimes we don't have the answer after just one huddle. And sometimes we don't have the answer just after two huddles. And so sometimes this does take time to stop and to listen and to learn. Mm -hmm. And if we still have more questions, we repeat those and we stop and we listen and we learn. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Miss Caitlin. And thank you to our super kids and our super grownups who stayed and had this conversation with us. It's not easy, it's not always fun, but it is something that needs to happen. And I want everyone here to know that we are committed to helping the voices of the unheard be heard. So that is our commitment to you. And we are going to be leaning in to stop, listen, and learn. Thank you guys so much. If you know anyone else that needs this because they're struggling to know how to talk to their super kid about what's going on in the world, then please share this with them because this is such an important topic. We can't pretend it doesn't exist. We can't pretend it doesn't happen because I'm telling you, our kids know. I'll share those stories later. Um, I have some very personal stories that I want to share, but this was not the time for that. Thank you. Thank Bye. you.